and spectacular houses, fabulous amounts of money and furious competition. Selling Sunset gives us a peek inside the lives of the Hollywood realtors mm -hmm. trying to sell mega mansions. And if you haven't seen it yet, you are in for a treat. Oh, it is good. And after keeping the nation entertained throughout lockdown, we're lucky enough to be joined by cast members Jason Oppenheim, Mary Fitzgerald and Amanda Smith. Good morning. We should say good evening because it is ridiculously late there. Thank you for staying up to talk to us today. Um, Jason, I wanted to start with you, first of all, actually, because you started the Oppenheim Group in 2015 and that was with your brother. Was this a sort of area that you always wanted to go into? Yes, real estate's been in our family for generations. You know, we were both at uh, and I would say we were happy, but we weren't ecstatic about our profession. So after a few years of just traveling and trying to figure out what we wanted to do, it was really just real estate that we were the most passionate about. As you say, you were lawyers at first and then sort of gave that up and uh, um, went around the world, saw, saw the world, and got into what must be, I would have thought, especially where you are, uh, an incredibly competitive new business. That's true. You know, I, my concern is with people watching Selling Sunset that they, they just think they can get their real estate license and they become millionaires selling these amazing homes. My first few years were really tough. I mean, I was in a corner of somebody else's office in a very small desk making very little money for the first two and a half years. So please be realistic. Yeah, however, I mean, there is always the potential, like we saw in the clip there, to sell a $44 million house, and the commission off the back of that is a lot of money. So this causes problems within the group itself. Things can get quite passionate, quite fiery, but professionalism is at the key of all of this. Is that right? If you're asking me, I'm going to say that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, the thing is, Jason, that, that um, I mean, we, we watch it and think, oh, my God, you have high-powered clients. You have people who a lot will want to uh, remain anonymous. Uh, some won't want the cameras in tow. How do you mix that with what is selling someone's very large, very expensive mansion is a very personal thing? Well, it's really up to the client. Uh, if they don't want to be on camera, they're not on camera. Uh, most, of the, most of our clients, buyers and sellers, are happy to be on camera and they're happy to have their homes on camera. But absolutely, we always defer to that. And, um, and Mary, for you, I mean, this is more than just selling homes because we get, to know, we get to know you, we get to know your friendships, we get to know your love life, we get to follow your, your wedding. And actually, what, what's the toughest bit making this show for you? Is it sort of the, the selling of the properties and all of that, or is it actually kind of living your life out on camera for all to see? Um, I would say it's it's arguing with the girls. Yeah, <laughs> I can't in conflict, and and I think a lot has happened since the show started, and not only having conflict with the girls, but having the world see it. That's it's kind of difficult for me. Well, you, it's stressful. You yeah. had a relationship with. Jason, so you've you've had an affair with the boss. Um, is there is there favoritism <laughs> between the two of you here? Uh, no, I wouldn't call it an affair. I mean, it's kind of a long time ago. But no, there's no favoritism. I think anything that I get, I earn, and most of all of my clients I get from referrals or from the show. Um, he doesn't give me that much. Some of the other girls think there is favoritism, though. Yeah, I know they say that. <laughs> <laughs> they would say that. Well, we've got to talk about your relationship with, with Christine, who's one of the other girls who we've spoken to many times on here, actually. And she is very fiery. She definitely says it how it is. Like she said in the clip, she'll, somebody else might start it, but she'll finish it. And you two have had more of a hate relationship recently, I would say. But are things starting to change? There's been rumours that you've been in contact and things are beginning to soften a bit there. That's true. Yeah, we uh, we had a conversation not too long ago, and we are trying to get back on better terms. We've talked about, you know, what's happened in the past, and and we're just trying to get back to a better place. You yes. um, you shared a, a very you know, some personal moment your um, your marriage to remain uh, with the world, um, and. You know, it's, a, it's a stressful thing, selling a house. Um, and, uh, and so you, you got married in a client's house and then sold the house on the same day for them. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I, I you know, I have to, uh, I have to set the bar high for the other girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> and how's all that going? How's Romain? How does he feel about being in the spotlight? He's, he's doing great. Yeah, he's enjoying this whole thing. Um, our relationship is awesome. We actually just got back today from a, a little trip that we finally got to take together. Um, so, yeah, we're happy. We're good. And then, uh, Amanza, nice to speak to you this morning as well. And you joined in the second series, but you've been part of the group for a long time, haven't you? So you've sort of, you're not necessarily the new girl here. Not really the new girl. I think I'm, a, I'm the oldest in the office, actually. I'm like months um, older than Jason and Brett. And I've known Mary, Jason and Brett for about 19 years. So I'm definitely the newest agent at the brokerage, but not at all the newest member of the family slash friendships. You, um, you also have been very honest and open about your family. This show is not all about selling mansions. Um, you, uh, you were showing us all the, the, the process of you filing for custody of both of your children. What made you decide that you wanted to show that on TV? Well, when I signed on to do Selling Sunset, season two, my life was very different. Um, the, the children's father was still very present in our lives and it wasn't the situation. Not until about probably less than a month into filming season two, that all switched. And so during season two, you kind of see me fumbling through a little bit of a hard time, but it wasn't really clear as to exactly what was going on. After filming for several months and the situation hadn't changed, it was just something I, I didn't necessarily choose to, I didn't sign on to the show knowing this was going to be my situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was just what's going on in my life. And I had to share that with the audience because otherwise I just looked like a big flighty, late, <laughs> like a dum-dum. Um, so it, it, it made sense for me to open up and show everybody what I was actually dealing with behind the scenes because um, the situation just, you know, remained the same for, it's been over a year now that my children's father has been gone. So yeah. it just was sort of a natural thing. It wasn't like um, I made the decision concretely one day, like, oh, let me just share this with the world. But well, you, are, you are a sharer. I mean, I think you just did a recent interview and said that you'd had a relationship with the script's Danny O'Donoghue <laughs> and, um, and it sort of just slipped out. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit naive. I did my first um, Irish press and I thought that would be a cute story. And then the next thing, months, months later, now it's like followed me. I actually spoke to Danny a couple days ago um, through Instagram and I, I let him know, I was like, I don't know if you've seen this, but I just thought you should know that I, you know, sort of leaked this to the press in your neck of the woods. <laughs> and we had a laugh. He was like, it's all good. You gave me a 10 out of 10. So <laughs> I'm happy with that. And um, um, just, uh, just finally, Jason, um, you know, we've all gone through lockdown. The world has gone through lockdown. You have a business that's gone through lockdown. How is business now? Uh, better than ever, honestly. We had a really tough... May, June, but July and August have been great, and September uh, really better than the previous years. So I think there was a lot of pent-up demand. Here in America, we have very low interest rates, so we've got a lot of things uh, working in our favor. Oh, good. Uh, good. And anyone who's actually moved during lockdown or thinking of moving during lockdown, you've got to take Mary as an example here, who actually loves the process of moving house. There's some, so what are you, are you ill? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I, I do love it, but decided I have to stop doing it myself and, and just help other people do it where I make money and not spend Fair it's, enough. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Lovely to talk to you today. Um, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's all on Netflix now, series one to three, so there's loads of it on there for you. And thank you so much. You take care, guys. Thank you. Oh, it's good. Love that. I'm behind a bit. I need to catch up, actually. Yeah. I've got a couple of series to go, yeah.